Hi, Peter Charles here, Fooked Fly, Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do a video on tying the nail knot. Now, my previous video, we got into doing the nail, nail less nail knot, I'm trying to say that fast. But this time we're going to do the regular nail knot, and it does the same job. It's designed to attach a mono, piece of mono, or a full leader if you wanted, to the tip of the fly line. So it grips the fly line and enables, you know, and it's quite strong. You'd be surprised. It, uh, it'll pull the fly line apart when you try to get it off. And at the other end of this mono, we'll have a loop, which will be a subject of another video. So let's get going and, and tying the nail, this nail knot. Now, it, sorry, the nail knot. Um, the first piece of kit that you need, you can use a nail, which is where the name came from, but it's easier to use a tube. Now I'm using a fat tube because I'm using a fat line, but I would recommend a piece of uh, 330 seconds OD uh, brass or copper or aluminum tube. That's what I use. I use a piece of aluminum tube and uh, it's quite small and it fits on, you know, fits around the knot quite easily. Uh, it's easier to do it with the tube and you'll see why when we get going. So we've got my fly line here. This is the fly line and I'm just gonna put my tube alongside it like that. This is the tip of the fly line. Now I'm just going to take my mono, my black mono, and you see how I have put it across. Now one of the tricks you can do if you want, you can lay it like that so you can see it, which helps. And so you can see it like that. Now you can come across, you come underneath the fly line and over the top. Now you can do this a number of times. I'm going to just do it, I'm going to put five coils in here, but you could put more if you want. There we go. So now we have five coils and you can pull that one tight. There we go. And you can see how that looks. I'm just holding on to it for now. This is the position of the nail knot when uh, you finish wrapping the uh, coils on, but you haven't threaded the line through your tube yet. And the way we lock this in place so it doesn't come undone is we slide our line through the tube and you see it comes out the other side. And then I just pull the tube out and I snug it down as I go and it makes it a little easier. And then once you're done, the, slew, the tube slides off and then you can just pull that nice and tight. And you have your nail knot. Of course you have to wet it when you're tying it. That goes without saying. And what I find too, is it ten helps to go slow when you're tightening and work those coils. So they all pull down tightly together because if you don't work the coils very well, you'll find you end up with a bit of a lumpy knot or a knot that has a bend in it. You know, you can get it some weird shapes. It'll still hold, it just won't look good. So this way, if you work the coils, you know, make sure they're staying in a line, they're not, one is not crossing over another. So there's the uh, nail knot. It's very easy not to tie. It's very similar to the nailless nail knot. Uh, I recommend knowing both. Uh, if you're doing it at home uh, and you're in the comfort of your home uh, and you have a tube handy, you do the conventional one. Uh, if you are on the water and you have a failure and uh, you want to retie, uh, then use the nailless nail knot. Or if you don't have a tube, you can use the nailless nail knot as well. So there you go, the nail knot. Cheers.